welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have been wanting to do a get ready with me for a while now. I have been accumulating a lot of different kinds of makeup and it's kind of exploded over here. Obviously I already filmed because I never look like this. So I went ahead and did it. So if you want to see how I did this, keep watching. If you are watching me for the first time, I am not a makeup artist. I am not, this is not a tutorial. This is somebody who's just playing and interacting with the subscribers. If you have any tips for me, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear them. I am just gonna jump right in. I'm going to start with my eyes, which I wanted to do last time and I forgot. <laughs> so I, um, but I see a lot of people do that and get ready with me. So I want to start with this Priming is Everything. This was in the Tribe Beauty box that I got that I unboxed on my channel not too long ago. And the Ruby May Vibes palette that came in that same box. This is a very bright, very fun palette. And then I have not played and I got these. So, okay, first, <laughs> I'm, let me just let you know that I'm wearing this purposefully because I might just go a little crazy and put some foundation and coverage right here. I have a lot of sunspots that, I mean, they're fine, I'm okay with them, but I'm gonna see what it's like to play with foundation down here too. Okay, so, and then I'm gonna use these Luxie brushes that I got a long time ago and I have not used yet. This is the Luxie Eye Essential set and I got it from FabFitFun. Yeah, I'm gonna start with my eyes. I need to, for my Get Ready With Me, is get like, a little, one of those little collapsible small TV table, the, well, what are those called? Those TV tables that people use? Anyway, I need a table in front of me right now is what I'm getting at. This is what this looks like. This is by The Balm. This is the eye primer that I showed you. And it's just like a little palette style. So I am gonna try this. I did see somebody use it and they just used their finger and dabbed it onto their eyelids. So I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. Like I said, I don't claim to be a makeup artist, but I'm hoping to do a much more fun eye look this time than I have done in my past videos. My past videos, my eye look both times was just much more subdued than I wanted them to be. I think I'm being a little too rough. <laughs> I was being really rough before with the beauty blender too, and I don't know if... Oh, and then I think I'm supposed to be using this finger, right? But we'd be here forever. I use that finger for my eye cream, so I'm not sure if you can see. It's pretty much exactly my tone, my skin tone. Not sure if you can see that, but that's a good layer. It doesn't look cakey. It seems to have gone on well. I'm gonna stop there with that. Now, I will show you this palette. It is so bright and fun. And I am just gonna go crazy and play with this. I'm not going to, before I was really timid and inhibited, and I'm gonna try not to be this time. So we will see if I am successful. So these are the brushes. And I'm going to start with this blending brush on the left. So this one. I think I'm going to start there with this rose color. Of course, I'm going for like one of the safest colors. That's not the way to start off crazy and not subdue. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm always really nervous at this part. how people I watch have so much control over the color and then when they use these brushes it just seems to slide back and forth so easily but not so much for me let's do this on the other side Okay, that went better. You know, I think I, I do my left eye. I'm much better at doing my left eye. Maybe something about that angle. All right, well, that's pretty much the only brush I know what it's for. I'm gonna go in with, I guess, this one now. I don't know, a little bit smaller because I want to be more precise with where I put the color. Okay, next, I will put, do I want to be purpley? Ugh, oh, this is so 
so hard. I think I will... Oof. I want to be bold. I want to go nuts. So I have to remember that. I want to put this glow one right here on my brow bone. That one's really shimmery. I don't know if this part's last or first or... I guess if it works, it works. It doesn't matter what order, but... So far, this looks really bad to me, but I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to put this green one, Mermaid, on the inner corners, and I'm going to use the same brush because I am a Neanderthal. Okay, if I'm a little more gentle... That's a pretty color. I kind of purposefully just put it in the corner there. Okay. Woo! Do the other side. I like the way this one's working. Is that bad? Whatever. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do this purple color next. This dark purple one. Cause why not? Oh, but the light purple one next to it's kind of pretty. Maybe I'll do the light purple in the middle and then the dark purple on the outside. I think I'm getting the hang of like just kind of dabbing and I'm definitely seeing a difference in using primer. I learned that from Tati. Oh, I didn't get hardly anything there, though. I get such better results on my left eye. I have to figure out why that is. Okay, no, oops. <laughs> so now I'm doing the really dark purple on the outside. Yeah, there's something about the angle work on my left eye that is so much easier to control. I'm going to put the dark shade that I was just using, using this um, precision brush, that's what I'm going to call it, I don't know if that's what it's called, uh, under my eyes. Ooh, maybe I won't use that color, maybe I'll use, I think I'll use the mermaid. I think I'll just bring the mermaid all the way around under my eye. Oh, well, that's not as easy as I thought. I see a line of powder on my eyeball. <gasps> okay, so okay, so I cut that part out. I just wiped a line of powder off of my eyeball. Well, definitely need some practice. Oh, I'm getting powder on my eyeball again. I don't know why I'm still holding this. I'm not mad about how I did. I do want to use the blending brush to get this top part to not look so... Oh, okay, so that kind of worked. And I'll fix this with some foundation later. I kind of want to put 
put a little bit more of the lighter purple shade in the middle of each eye. This this lighter purple shade. It's called hashtag babe. Hashtag. I am on the cusp of being a millennial. It cuts off right at the year I was born. Um, and I'm on the old side, but I definitely don't feel like a millennial. I feel very, very old compared. I want to try to blend. I feel like this side goes high, the color goes higher up than the other side. So I want to take a little bit more of that first color, hashtag rose, hashtag, um, and then put just a dab of that on here to try to bring, help bring the color up higher as well. I just stabbed hashtag shade with my brush. <laughs> and then I'm going to reinforce, ooh, what if I, <gasps> wait, <laughs> what if I used a little bit of the hashtag psychic, this crazy gold color, on my brow bun? What if, what if I did that? Why not? Well, I can tell you why not. That would be a little, well, let's just, it's barely even coming off. Is this one of those ones you need to use with your finger? Wow. Wow. Look at that. That came off really well. Well, let's see. Okay, I'm going to use my finger and just put a little bit of it on each side. <laughs> okay, I'm going to call my eyes done. Well, the eyeshadow. I'm going to say that the eyeshadow is done. I want to put on some eyeliner. This is my makeup bag and it is very full and I have been adding a lot of things to it to try on my channel. Let's see, this is a, this is an eyeliner. So this eyeliner, it's called Antonym and I got this in a Petty Bear box. So that means it's a cruelty free line of makeup and the really awesome thing about this is it has a sharpener on the end that is so great. Let's see if I need to sharpen it. I haven't used it and I think this is in a charcoal, like dark charcoal color. I haven't put, I used to wear eyeliner a lot actually in high school, uh, but I haven't put eyeliner on much since then. This is barely going on over the eyeshadow. You know what I think I want to do instead? I want to use like an eyeshadow to line my eyes. So I have a wonderful subscriber friend by the name of Lauren and she sent me a little goodie package and it was so sweet and out of the blue. She was going to get rid of a palette and I said, oh, I'll pay you to send it to me. And then she said, oh, don't send me any money. And then she sent it to me with a whole bunch of other amazing things in the package. It was so heartwarming. I love you, Lauren. You're amazing. Leave a comment below and tell, tell everyone that it was you so that everybody can give you all kinds of love. That was so cool of you. So this is the Milani Bold Obsession. Oh, there's my camera. This is the Milani Bold Obsessions palette and it is a Milani's cruelty free. She knows I'm trying to do all that and it is beautiful. Look at that. So I'm going to try to line my eyes just with the dark color in Okay, and then I have fake eyelashes. I'm gonna try to put on some fake eyelashes. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm gonna do the really like most um, wild and out there ones on Z Top. 
Because why not? That means, well, first, so first I think that I do see a lot, this wasn't the most comfortable choice of thing to film in, but I, so I think I have seen people who put on fake eyelashes put on mascara first, right? So I'm gonna do that. Oh, what is this mascara? I've been talking about this one. This is the Lash Princess Essence. False Lash Effect Mascara. I really like it. It's very affordable. You can get it on Amazon for, I think, $4.99. Since I'm putting on the fake eyelashes, I'm not going to be too picky about how well I do. Although, since I'm putting on fake eyelashes, I should probably put more mascara on the bottom, huh? Otherwise, it'll look a little imbalanced. I've heard that you're not supposed to pump your mascara, so I didn't mean to do that. I've read that the reason is that you can suck more air into your tube of mascara and therefore bring more potential bacteria that can grow in your mascara and make it go bad more quickly. Sounds totally reasonable. Okay, should I do the fake eye? Why not? I'm gonna do the fake eye. What do I? I don't know if I have glue. <laughs> I may or may not be able to do the fake eyelashes. Okay, so I found my lashes that I used for my wedding and I got them at Target. They're these Sh Sonia Kashuk uh, single lashes that you have to, single eyelashes, short, medium, and long. So you have to put each little thing on and go along your eyelid with them. I had my makeup done. I would never have done this on my own. So there's a little thing of lash glue. I got married 10 months ago, so I think this isn't dried out yet. I don't know, but we will see. I just discovered this YouTuber, Juggling the Jenkins, and she is so hilarious. She does, she, she's funnier than I am. <laughs> I'm not really very funny at all, but she's really funny. And she'll do videos like this that are similar to mine where it's like, I have admittedly don't know what I'm doing, watch and be amused. And I saw her trying to handle fake eyelashes recently in a video. I don't know when she did that video. I've been binging her, she's so funny. Oh man, this is gonna be so, it's already sticky. Can I just use that sticky? Especially if I don't need them to last very long. All right, I remember, oh! So this has kind of like a spatula, the lid to the glue has kind of like a spatula thing going. Oh, that makes it so easy. All right, that's already done. So this looks like it's for the right eye. Okay, so I think that that was just a fluke that that went on so easily, I can see it. I think that was just a fluke that that went on so easily and quickly. And oh my gosh, it looks so good. It's a little bit too high over in this corner. I'm gonna push it down a little bit. Wow. Aren't I fancy and sticky? This lash glue works so well. Okay, other eye. Please work as well. Can you see me? Okay. There's a little bit of glue that you can see on this inner corner. I wonder if that dries clear. I guess we'll find out because it's like all up in there. Wow, holy smokes. I can see them. Okay. Okay, my makeup bag pretty much exploded back here. Now on to foundation and whatnot. So the first thing, I'm gonna do my eyebrows last. Do my eyebrows last. Uh, next is Primer. Oh, Lauren, in that, oh gosh, it was such a thoughtful package. So in that package, Lauren had included this e.l.f. primer, this moisturizing primer, because she remembered from one of my Get Ready With Me's when I had an e.l.f. primer, this one, I had gotten this one, which was the Soothing Face Primer, because they didn't have at the store in stock the Hydrating Face Face Primer, which I much preferred to get if I could have, and she remembered that. So she got one and she threw it in the package. God, I almost, I may have cried when I opened that package. 
page. I can't remember, but I definitely was on the verge of tears. I can see my eyelashes. That will take some getting used to. Well, I don't know. I probably will never wear fake eyelashes up. I wonder if, was I supposed to shake this? It's a little runny. It's runny. It's running everywhere. Oh, let's get it on my face before it runs away. That was plenty. It has a little bit of a plasticky sense, which, scent, which I may think makes sense because it's Probably the first ingredient is dimethicone. Yep, I'm gonna put some on my neck and chest area because like I said, I think I'm gonna play with putting foundation down here. The other e.l.f. primer, I don't think it had that scent to it. It's definitely like a plasticky scent. And this one is creamy while the, while the other one was really runny. No, this one I don't think has that same scent. Primer's done. And then I'm gonna start, do I start off with the concealer? This is also something that I've Trying to remember like what the order of the makeup is in the Get Ready With Me is that I watch and I'm thinking I want to start off with just concealing my whole face. So I'm going to use for that something that I have used in the past which is this Mega Cushion Foundation. It has SPF, it's from Wet n Wild. Ignore this little cruelty-free bunny. It's been discovered that Wet n Wild is not necessarily cruelty-free. They sell in China, so that really kind of compromises their cruelty-free status depending on how strict you are. This is the best foundation that I have tried so far, so I'm gonna use this one for this video. I have tried a couple others in other videos. I'm actually, I had accidentally purchased one from Wet n Wild that was way too pale for me. I'm gonna see if I can use that as a concealer because I don't have a proper concealer either. This is the cushion, so it literally is like a cushion. It has this sponge here and then it has this little applicator on the inside that you use and you push onto the cushion and you uh, push onto the cushion and you get the, the product onto here and then you dab it on your face. It's just so on point with my skin tone, it's amazing. And you don't have to use all that much. It goes on so quickly and evenly. And it's SPF. Okay, so here is where I wanna try to fix my eyeshadow, cause I definitely went past where I wanted to. Oh, I want to, I should have waxed my upper lip before I did this. You're going to be able to see that I need to much better after I'm finished. I'm fixing the eyeshadow line again over on here, over here. Oh, I don't know that I care to go all the way down to my chest. <laughs> all that. And I'm probably not even going to do it. No, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Let's just, I'm not going to do like a full coverage effort, but I'm going to see what it looks like. just want to see what it looks like. I, I think I need like a more full coverage foundation to get the effect that I'm thinking for this experiment. So this experiment may not pan out in this video, but it definitely will be something that I try out in a future video. I don't know, did that even do anything? of that so I'm not gonna do any more there. I'll, I'll try like a full coverage kind of thing. This isn't the right product for that. I'm learning quickly. So the next thing I want to do is I wanted to play with doing under eye concealer. I don't have, do I have, I think I have a proper under eye concealer. It's this Age Rewind Maybelline one. I bought this a long time ago, over a year ago. So I can try using this one. This is a highly rated concealer and you can get it for a really good price on Amazon. Let's try this one. And then I wanna bake. I wanna play with baking. 
There's not a lot of product. Uh, we're not going to use that one because I think it's kind of dried up. If I, I think I need to play with it to get the product to start flowing again. But what I want to do then is I bought this. This is way too pale for me. I'm going to use it as a concealer um, to brighten up under my eyes. And then where else do people do that? Um, I'm just going to do under my eyes. And oh, I've seen people put a little bit here to add dimension when they contour. So this has like a little spatula. It's this one. I bought a lot of Wet n Wild stuff in good faith that they were cruelty free and then they broke everyone's hearts. So it has this little spatula. And so I'm going to use this. See how this goes. So far it's already seeming like it's not going to go well. And then I see that people put it like here. And then sometimes I see it like here. So I'm going to slap some on there. I'm going to stop there though. And then I need my beauty blender. I think there's too much. I'm going to have to darken this. Darn it! I put too much. I'm going to try to wipe some away on this side. Too much. Let's just get this off there too, off of here. So I will fix this with contour when I get there. See if I can just wipe some of this away. It's not awful. And then something that I wanted to try is baking. I have the Ciate translucent setting powder from one of the FabFitFun sales, so it's kind of hard to see, but there you go. That's it. And I am going to try this. Okay. know why people bake. Maybe I'll learn right now. <laughs> then I've seen some people put it like right here. Do the same thing over here. I need more baking powder. I'm baking. I'm officially baking. This is the first time ever you saw it here. I want to put, I desperately want to put the lid back on this powder because how awful would that be if you've ever dropped it? I'm sure that's happened to many of you watching. <laughs> okay. I'm going to contour now, and I am going to contour playing with the Tardis Pro Glow Palette. This is what started the whole conversation between me and Lauren. Lauren is the person who sent me the package that I've been talking about in this video, and it she, it's barely even used. She was going to get rid of it. She told me she was inspired to declutter after she watched my vanity declutter videos, and that this was one of the palettes that she was gonna get rid of and I said oh huh you're gonna get rid of that one and then we started talking about her sending it and it just turned into a really wonderful care package so I am going to play with this I think I'm just going to use my fingers it's got this strobe when do I take the bake off you know I'll do okay hold the phone I'm gonna do my lips and I think that I should do a pink lip oh the eyes I'm gonna do this cover girl. They don't have the name of the color on the end of it. Anyway, this is cover girl's long lasting lipstick. Cover girl went cruelty free if you didn't know. 
Oops. I remember this being a darker pink. I might put something darker over it. I'm gonna wipe this off now. Here we go. This is an Eco Tools brush. I got it at Marshalls. I don't know if that even helped. I did it. I baked. Ah! I think it added a little bit of dimension. Every time I watch these videos after filming, I realize that you can see things that I'm putting on my face better than I realize. Now I'm going to do the contour, like I was talking about earlier with this TARDIS Pro Glow Palette. I'm going to use this Sculpt. So some of these are powders and some of these are creams. The bottom two are creams, the top four look like powders, like powder highlighters even. But I'm, So I'm going to start with this Sculpt color and just add a little bit to my forehead and my cheeks and then I will highlight and then I will do my eyebrows and then I will pretty much be done. I'm just going to use my finger, I think. Oh, that isn't, that is powdery. <laughs> That's powdery. I'm surprised. Okay, then I'm going to use the Beauty Blender. I think I got too much on there. Well, yep. Too much for sure. I'm going to use the other end of the Beauty Blender to blend that up. <laughs> And honestly, I do think the bake gave me dimension in my cheeks, and I don't know that I need to add any contour there. I'm going to leave it alone. I think that looks alright. I am going to put now highlighter on. I'm going to use this top one right here. It's called Strobe, and I'm just going to put it on my cheekbones. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Yes, ma'am. What I didn't do is I didn't put I didn't put contour on the sides of my nose. And I do have a big nose, so I should probably play with shading it. Oh, that's too much. I think I should quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to do my eyebrows now. Okay, so I have new eyebrow products coming in an order. They were so inexpensive. They were e.l.f. products because I don't like this one. Oh, I need to sharpen it and everything. I really don't like it. It's a Kaylee eyebrow pencil and I got this in Pettiver so it's cruelty free and non-toxic and all that. What I don't like about it is the pencil's a little softer than I would like it to be so I feel like it dumps unevenly onto my eyebrow, but I'm just gonna do a little bit. I think I need to do a little eyebrow trimming. My eyebrow hairs are pretty long right now. This one, I've talked about these before, but if you're new here, this is the Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal. This is a really, really good eyebrow pencil. Uh, it's not cruelty-free if you are interested in that information. But I, so it's all out, but I still use the little spoolie. That was the wrong cap. That's why that didn't work out. Okay, so that's done. I just need to put on some setting spray. So I'm going to try the Bella Pierre Cosmetics HD setting spray. This came in the Tri Beauty box. And this better work really well because it said that the retail on this was like $30. I remember when I tested, the spray seemed really, really direct and strong, or at least not quite. It, it wasn't fine and misty like you would like a setting spray to be. So we're going to see how this works out. Oh, God. It's like I just got punched in the eye with setting spray. Um, I don't know. Oh, it's so strong. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not going to keep doing that to myself. It's too bad. I, If I can find a spray bottle that I like the way it sprays better, I would love to try this out. But that was too much. Wow. And I look like I've been sweating. Anyway. 
I'm just gonna call that good without using any setting spray because I'm not gonna keep doing that to myself. Okay, well that's that's it. I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore. So I guess that's the final look. I did all right. I don't think that... I'm not embarrassed. How's that? <laughs> Anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Introduce yourself in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you later. Bye!